What's going on? How's it going? So anyway, when is Joe Biden going to talk about African Americans genocide and the long, dark history that's happened to black folks here? How many more black folks got to keep getting killed? How much institutional systematic racism has to go in? How many more guns have to go through? How much time does the schools have to whitewash black folks? How often more does Hollywood have to whitewash black folks with music, the creativity, and the arts? You see, if you're going to talk about genocide, you got to talk about what black folks have been through. Now, I can't say nothing about people from Turkey, but I can tell you one thing. Black folks have been played like turkeys in this racist country. I'll tell you that. And if you're going to do anything, black folks are long overdue. It's the elephant that's in the room. Why do you think that black folks are still so targeted? Voter repression. What do you think everything that goes on? The Q and I and all this mess. What do you think it is? Why do you think George Floyd triggered people so hard? Why, why those uh, slave master statues been getting dragged? Why do you think? But see, he's sleeping Joe. He selectively sleeping Joe. And he ain't no different than Donald Trump. Birds of a feather flock together, as far as I'm concerned. Because until you talk about reparations, until you talk about the dark days that African Americans have faced the legalized genocide from slavery to today, I ain't trying to hear it. Everything is set up against black folk in this country. Every single last thing. And it's done legally. All the laws created were used against black folks to create. See, that's the bottom line. No other culture can say that everything that was used against them was considered justified. Think about it. If I strip you of your tongue, your language, your land, your identity, if I forbid you to read, if I forbid you to have a job, if I use you as property, I'm sorry, but when you talk about the electoral college vote, you remember that vote that Hillary Clinton, um, she lost to Trump? That's tied to slavery. Black and white. Look it up. Google it. Let Google be your friend. I am not trying to hear about people from Turkey and other places. I'm sorry. Because you got to take care of black folk first. You keep beating around the bush and you keep trying to apologize and downplay this. And then more black folks keep getting slaughtered and getting lynched every day. Just like they won't talk about the brother in Carolina right now, North Carolina, Andrew Brown Jr. How often do you have to see this every single day? You know, that's why Derek Chalk and he lynched, he was racist trash, but I'm going to say something about him. He been getting away with the same thing because you know why? Because none of these cowards that get in the White House have done anything about black people's plight here in this country. Okay, I call them all cowards. Because unless you speak up about institutionalized racism, do something about it, unless you legislate something to flip the script, you ain't doing nothing but contributing to the same old stew that has been stirred over and over and over and over again for over 400 years. And I ain't trying to hear it. So Joe Biden's... uh talking about the past, until he talk about African Americans, he just blowing, he just blowing Dixie into the wind. He ain't saying nothing. But that's my thoughts and takes. When is old Sleepy Joe gonna talk about the genocide against African Americans? Please hit the like, subscribe, or welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another, and uh, all these politicians is the same. They just assume to turn the other way. They do enough to satisfy a moment, but they ain't doing nothing. Not for no black folk, and I don't care what they party is. They party is still a party. It's just that black folks ain't invited. I'm out.